All right, another letter here to answer. A, I think it's Lacey um, from Peck, Michigan. And um, this one I've been meaning to answer for a long time and I have not had a chance to get around to it. Um, so I, yeah, Lacey here. Um, so I apologize, it took me a while to get to this, but uh, it says, uh, Good day, Brian Denlinger. Thank you for yours and your wife's dedication to serving the Lord. My name is blank, and I am writing you to inquire about some things I have questions about for my own ministry. I see the ministry that you do through King James Video Ministry, and I wonder, and wonder if I use a name for my ministry. Do I file with the county as a doing business as name? Do I need to file with any government organization? Uh, what if I receive checks written out to a ministry name instead of me? What camera would you recommend? These are some things I wonder about. It seems overwhelming to me at times, the different things that may be needed or may not, may be not needed. Some people uh, say you have to file as a corporation and for 501c3 exempt status. No, don't do that. <laughs> um, <clears throat> others will say all you need is a DBA and a tax ID number, EIN. My desire is to serve God, but what is needed to do it the best way? Okay. Um, okay. Somebody's out there. Delivery guy. Uh, okay. Answer to your question here. Um, do I file with the county as a doing business as name? Well, if you are going to um, take donations and things, then... Um, and have a bank account and whatever, then yeah, I would do that. Um, just have a ministry name. And um, again, you know, your laws might be a little bit different there in uh, Michigan. I don't know um, where I'm at. Uh, you basically just have to have a uh, doing business as type of thing. My, my bank account, post office, they both know King James Video Ministries. And um, <clears throat> it's not a whole lot to it there. As far as uh, employee... Uh, identification number um, yeah if again if you're keeping it as a sole proprietorship it would be a lot easier if you start to get into the thing of hiring employees and whatever else that makes it a little bit harder um, so but uh, do I need to file with any government organization well no because your your income is not taxable okay if it's charitable contributions to the ministry then it's not something that's taxable uh, you can't really pay a tax on it because it's not an income in terms of I get paid X amount per hour. It's sporadic as the Lord lays it on people's heart to give to the ministry. Then, you know, people can or whatever else. Um, what if I receive checks written out to a ministry name instead of me? Well, like I said, you just set it up with the bank. You say, OK, again, check with your lo local laws. Um, I want to take out a personal slash business account or just, excuse me, all business account. Um, and this is the name of the ministry. Good, you know, Word of Truth Ministries or something. We'll say it that way. Word of Truth Ministries. And you say, I'm going to get a website and whatever else. Now, one thing you should do is you should have an About Us page. That way, if there's ever any kind of a Somebody tries to take legal action against you, which has never happened to me, all the controversial stuff I've been involved with. Um, I have it all spelled out, so they can't say, if I would ever get taken to court, well, he did this and he did that. I can say, well, that's according to my beliefs. Well, where are your beliefs at? Well, they're, you know, just what I can make up here. No, it's clearly written out what I believe and what I teach on my website. It's been there as a public thing for years. So that spells out what I believe. Um, again, you can study uh, Peter Kershaw's stuff. I don't think I have the DVDs in here right now. But um, <clears throat> there are some ways to do it, legal ways and whatever. And I, I can't advise on that, I, you know, perfectly and whatever else. I mean, it's not part of my, what I do. I'm not a legal expert. So you have to research some of that stuff. As far as filing as a corporation with 501c3, absolutely no. Do not do that, all right? Um, legally, if you are doing things as charitable, um, not charging a specific price for products that you're making, um, you can receive donations from people 
and not have to file or anything else. All right, um, that's the way we do it. Uh, if we sell things, like I was selling the external hard drives, I have to pay tax on that. Um, but to say you have to be 501c3, that is the biggest scam that's ever been. Do not go 501c3 for any reason. And if you talk to some kind of legal expert, they will push you towards 501c3 because there's lots of papers to fill out and you'll have to pay them to get you into 501c3. Don't do it. Um, as far as a camera is concerned, um, the cameras I've had over the years, I've had a lot of different ones. Uh, this current one, I have, I cannot tell you what it is, Panasonic uh, something or other. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry. Um, I have a H2 recorder down here that I use for audio, and then I sync it to the audio from my camera, so it sounds a little bit better with this. Um, but there's a myriad of cameras out there. Um, again, you can research that stuff. Uh, there's better cameras than what I have, I'm sure. Um, continuing here with the letter, it says, If it seems I am asking a lot of personal questions, it's only for myself to learn the best way to approach some of the things we can deal with in our society today. For a while now, I have been ministering to nursing homes and other places. Then I go to them locations to share Word of God. And I really would like to get into video ministries also. This is why I'm seeking your guidance and recommendations. Thank you for your time in reading and responding to this letter. May God continue to bless your ministry. Sincerely, gives his name. I'm sorry that it took me this long to get around to it. Um, like I said, some of the things you're just going to, going to have to kind of um, see for yourself. But the main thing I want to get through to you is do not go through some kind of 501c3 or some other thing like that where they put rules on what you can and cannot say. All right. And um, forget about, I'll just say this too. Uh, you're not, if you're just taking charitable donations from people and there's no tax being filed, don't think that you're going to be getting any, any kind of tax return. Okay. Don't try to write off things on your taxes and whatever else. It's not happening. Okay. I don't even know what an income tax return is anymore. I haven't gotten one any, at any time throughout my whole ministry. Um, in fact, when I'm selling external hard drives or DVDs or whatever, a lot of times I owe tax at the end of the year. So um, if you want tax returns and government favors and whatever else, then you're barking up the wrong tree. Okay, that is going to be it for this letter. Thank you very much for watching.